Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve a pretty fun problem. Construct a binary tree from a pre-order and in-order traversal. So we're actually given two integer arrays representing one, the pre-order traversal and two, the in-order traversal of a binary tree. And our goal is to take these two traversals and the orderings of those nodes and then reconstruct basically the original binary tree that the traversals are from. And it is technically possible. These two traversals have all the information we need. We just need to take that information and then deconstruct it and then reconstruct this binary tree from those. So just to verify it, let's go through this tree and actually do the pre-order traversal first of all. So first we know pre-order traversal is you start at the root and then you process the current node, then you do the left subtree, then you do the right subtree, right? So let's just let's just do the pre-order traversal. So we're starting at the root, we do the root node first, that's how pre-order works, so then we get a three. Next we're gonna go to the left subtree and then, and and then do pre-order traversal on that left subtree. We see nine, right? So we're gonna add nine to our pre-order traversal and it doesn't have any children. So we're actually done with nine, we're done with three. Now it's time to do the right subtree in pre-order traversal. So we start at 20, add 20 to our pre-order, go left, we see 15, add 15 to the pre-order. 15 doesn't have any children. Now we go to the right subtree, seven. So add seven, it's our last node to the pre-order traversal, right? And this actually, take a look at this, take a look at all the values. It matches exactly with the input. So this is the uh, pre-order traversal. Now let's just validate the in-order traversal as well. In-order traversal is we start at the root, right? We take care of the entire left subtree first, then we take care of the root node, and then we take care of the right subtree with in-order traversal. That's the general order, so let's validate the in-order traversal of this tree. So we're starting at one, we're, or we're starting at the root three, but we're not gonna add three yet. First, we're gonna do the left subtree. We see we have a nine. The nine does not have any left or right children, so now we can add that nine to our in-order traversal. Remember, we're doing this in order, left to right, we go back up to the root. Now we can process the root. We can take three and add it to the in-order traversal. And now we're gonna do the entire right subtree. So we get to 20, but we're not. We're gonna wait for 20. We're gonna first do the left subtree, 15. 15 is the only value here, so it doesn't have any children. Add 15 to the in-order traversal. Now we can add 20 because we've done the left subtree. 20 is added, and then last we go to the right subtree, only one value, seven. Let's add that seven to our in-order traversal. Now let's take a look at these five values. Notice how they are the exact same five values in the exact same order as that in-order traversal that we were given. So we can see that the that what they gave us was correct but now the question remains how can we actually take these two uh arrays these two traversals and construct this tree well it's definitely possible let me show you how to do that right now so i just want to let you know that there's actually two things two main facts that we're going to be using to construct this tree so the first fact is that the first value in pre-order traversal is always going to be the root, right? We, we remember when we do pre-order traversal, right? We're always processing the root first. So if I was taking the pre-order traversal that we're given, right? We, we remember this is the pre-order traversal that we're given. The first value in pre-order traversal is always going to be the root. So this is the first value three. It's guaranteed to be the root because that's how pre-order traversal works. The first value in pre-order traversal is always the root node. Now we don't know about the rest of these, right? But we can recursively construct now the left subtree and the right subtree right we can we can we're done with this three right now our goal is to reconstruct the left subtree hey lucky for us the first value here is always going to be the root of 
the of the left subtree, right? Because that's how pre-order traversal works, right? So that's one thing that we're going to use. The first value is always going to be the root. And then we can take the sub list, right? We can remove the three. We don't need to look at it anymore. Then we take the sub list. And then basically we're going to do this recursively. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, we can construct the root, but we need more information than that, right? And then we're, let's say we're done looking at this three now. I want to take this, uh, array right and i want to know which values are going to go in the left subtree and which are going to go in the right subtree from looking at the actual tree itself we know the answer right we know that this is where we're going to cut our list right the nine is going in the left subtree right these three values are going in the right subtree but how can we determine that well that's what we need our in order traversal array for Okay, so now let's take a look at the input array we're given for the in order traversal. And by the way, let me just mention that every value in the traversal is guaranteed to be unique. That's true for both of the traversals, the in order and the pre order. Every value is going to be unique because every value in the tree is going to be unique. But okay, so far we know that this first value three is going to be the root, right? So now let's find three, right? We, we know three is the root, right? So we removed it from our first list basically, right? But now let's find it in our in order list. We find it's right over here three is in this index right so we know we don't need this three anymore right we already created that node but so now what does this in order array tell us notice how this is convenient for us every value to the left of the three that we just created the root from every value over here which is only nine is gonna go in the left subtree and every value to the right of three is gonna go in the right subtree that's really convenient for us why is this the case because that's basically the purpose of in order traversal right it guarantees that we're gonna go through the tree in order right from left to right basically right so if we see the three here and that and this is the position in the array we know everything here is going to be in the left subtree everything here is going to be in the right subtree that's what it tells us this is really convenient for us because we can count it right we can see there's exactly one value that's going to go in the left subtree and there's exactly three values that are going to go in the right subtree so what we can do is we can take we can take the remainder of the pre-order array and then partition it, right? Partition it over here because we know one value is going to go in the left subtree and three values are going to go in the right subtree. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to continue this, right? So now let's recur. We're, and by the way, in the code, we're going to do this recursively. Let's create the left subtree. We know that, okay, this is the in order portion, right? And this is how we're going to partition it from pre-order right we see th this is the array to create the left subtree the thing here is notice how this is size one right there's only one value here and there's only one value here right that tells us that the subtree we're creating is only going to have one node in it right so nine is the only node in the left subtree so we're going to create that node put the value there and now we're basically done with this left subtree obviously because there's no more uh you know, there's no more nodes left in this general area, right? This, these values are reserved for the right subtree. This is reserved for the right subtree. Okay, so now we're looking at the pre-order portion, right? There's three values, just like in the in-order portion. And remember, how are we going to create the root node of this subtree? Now, we always take the first value in pre-order traversal. It's 20, right? The value is 20. So we're going to take this value 20. We don't need it anymore because we're going to create a, a node from that value. And so now we need to know which values are going to go in the left subtree and which are going to go in the right subtree. We know by finding... 20 right 20 is the value let's find 20 in our in order traversal it's over here by the way in the code i'm going to be calling the index of this mid so m for mid we find the index of 20 right we know we don't need 20 anymore 
so we can get rid of it, right? We see that there's one value on the left of 20 and there's one value on the right of 20. This tells us that one value is going to go in the left subtree and one value is going to go in the right subtree, right? Just like we have over here. So now let's construct that left subtree. We know it's going to be exactly size one from looking over here. So we take this 15, right? We're con we're, now our job is to recursively create the left subtree. We're going to take this 15 since it's the first value in the subarray for pre-order, right? We know that it's going to be the root of the current subtree we're at. So let's get rid of this, this 15. Let's create that node, right? 15 over here is going to be a node. And there's no more values left in this subtree because we know it's only going to be size one. Okay, now we're creating the right subtree. We know that there's only one value in the right subtree from looking over here. And since there's only one value left in general, it's a seven. We can make a node from it and then we're done. We know we're done because we've basically gotten rid of every single value in our arrays, pre-order and in order. So using these two arrays, we were able to create our tree correctly. And just let me just summarize what we're actually doing. We're not doing a lot. We don't need a ton of information. Remember the first value in pre-order, the pre-order array is always going to be the root, right? That's just how it works. And then once we take that value, create a node from it, and then when we try to look that value up in in-order traversal, right? Then we can get some subarrays, right? We can take we can take the length of the left and right subarray. So the right subarray is three and the left subarray is one node. Now these counts one and three, they tell us how to partition the pre-order traversal. So take a look at the pre-order traversal. One tells us that we're gonna cut over here because this needs to be size one, this needs to be size three. And then from this subarray, this subarray with only one value, we are gonna recursively run the algorithm to create this left subtree. And with this subarray, we're gonna recursively run the algorithm to create this subtree. And we're just gonna continuously repeat that process until we get to our base cases and until we're finished with every single node that we need to create. So now let me actually show you the code. It's actually very short, less than 10 lines. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a recursive algorithm. So we always want to start with the base case. And the base case is going to be what if we don't have any nodes to traverse through the two arrays that we're given? That means we can return null or basically we don't have to create a tree. So if pre-order is empty or in order is empty, then we can return null. We have no values, so we don't need to create a tree. We can return null. Otherwise, we're going to create a tree node, right? And what's the value of that tree node going to be? Well, it's going to be the first value that happens to be in the pre-order array, just like I showed you, right? Always going to be the first value, so it's always going to be index of zero. And then whatever that value was, we want to find the position of it in the in-order array. So in order dot index. so we want the index of that value, pre-order of zero, and we're going to get it in mid. Now, this is the part where we're going to build the subtree. So root.left, let's create the left subtree, and we're going to do this recursively, as I mentioned. So self.build tree, we're calling the function that we're inside of. And the convenient part about Python is we can do sublists, so that's going to cut down our code quite a bit. So we need to pass in the new pre-order and in-order arrays, or the sub-arrays, uh, more likely. So pre-order, what are we going to pass in for the left subtree of pre-order? Well, mid tells us mid tells us how many uh, nodes we want the index uh, of basically the value of mid tells us how many nodes we want in the left subtree so what i'm going to do is for pre-order we're going to start at index one we're basically skipping the zero index because we already just created a node for the zero index we're, we're starting at index one going all the way up until mid plus one in python this mid plus one is non-inclusive so this subarray is really just a pre-order from index one to mid. So that's what we're doing. 
and we're going to pass in the in order portion that we need as well and that's just going to be from the beginning up until mid but not including mid right this probably makes more sense if you go back and look at the picture but basically we're just creating the appropriate sub lists that we need to create the left subtree we're going to do basically the exact same thing with the right subtree and i would encourage you to draw this out yourself to basically reinforce what you're learning or watching me do right now so to build the right subtree, we need every value after this sublist, right? So we can just say starting at index mid plus one going until the end of the list. That's how you do it in Python. We're starting at mid plus one and going until the end of that sublist, just like I showed in the picture. And for in order, we can actually do the exact same thing. We want every node to the right of mid in in order right uh, from our in order array we want every value to the right of this index mid so we can do that with mid plus one start starting at mid plus one and then going until the end of the array so now let me close this function and so this is literally all you have to do the reason it's so easy is mainly because i'm using python but you could you could read you could do this code without python it would probably just be a couple extra lines you might need to pass in a couple extra parameters into this build tree function basically just these indices that i'm doing you might not be able to create sub lists but you can at least create you can at least pass these indices into your functions in java and other languages so with that we have actually created our uh, tree so the only thing left for us to do is return that tree so with that being said this is the final solution it's probably less code than you would have predicted but the problem is a little tricky but it's kind of enjoyable at least in my opinion so i hope that this was helpful if you enjoyed please like and subscribe it supports the channel a lot and i'll hopefully see you pretty soon